Jackson. Nate Schmidt was lying down to block it. Rolling in on it again. Oh, shot tipped by Gallagher. Anderson with the net. They score. Christian Navarro banks it home. Power play goal. And it's 2 0 Montreal. But the officials are having a discussion here. And Hellebuck was arguing right after it, saying it's a hand pass. And the coaching staff here are looking at it as well on the Jets bench. They may not have to make a decision as the refs are huddled over. Brandon Blandina and Garrett Rank are, and linesman Michelle Cormier and Ryan Daisy are doing the due diligence to discuss what they what they saw on the ice. So did Anderson get his stick on it after he played it with his hand? I think it touches the back, his backhand as he goes to get control of the puck watch here touches his back and right there hops over the stick of Hellebuck I don't know that's a bouncing puck that's that's why I think Hellebuck thought it was his stick that maybe touched it after conferring with the other referees we have a good goal on the ice As Anderson goes to take that puck on his backhand, if you watch closely, the puck spins quicker as he swipes through, so he barely touches the puck. So they've called it a goal, and now Rick Bonus and his staff looking at it and debating they could challenge for a missed stoppage of play if it would have been a hand pass. Right here, you'll see, as Anderson goes to collect this puck with his backhand, the puck starts to spin quicker than when Winnipeg he didn't touch it. Winnipeg is using their coach's challenge for a missed game stoppage prior to the goal. And that will afford the referees a chance to have a look at the replays we've been watching and talk to the Situation Room in Toronto. So Rick Bonus and the staff believe that Josh Anderson did not get his stick on it. The captains are over here talking to the linesmen. Saying that Suzuki saying that he swatted at the puck. That's what allowed that puck to spin. It'll have to be conclusive with a call on the ice. Now being a good goal. I'm not sure if there's anything there that conclusively shows that he did get his stick on it. Fortunately, Neil Pionk got right in the way at the exact second you need to see it. I think the puck starts to spin more after he goes to collect it with his back end. Well, there's the Situation Room in Toronto discussing with the officials and having a look at what they see. And the fact that this is taking a little bit of time, I think they're having that same debate. Is there any look that really conclusively shows if Anderson did touch it or not. I think the angle from where we are from the benches toward the net, toward Hellebuck, even though it's so far away from the net, that's the best angle to see whether or not that puck changes, in fact, changes direction. Watch here as his backhand goes to collect this puck. Does the puck start to spin a little bit more? Really hard to see from that angle, but... <clears throat> Christian Dvorak waiting to see if he's going to have goals in back-to-back -back games. Had a goal Saturday against the Islanders that snapped a 17-game goalless drought. And hoping that he has a power play marker here. Rick Bonus hoping that the goal comes back and they avoid another penalty kill situation. Right here as he touches that puck with the back end. Does the puck start to spin a little bit more? 
I think because it was ruled a goal, it might be difficult to say that it's not because it's not, it's hard to tell, but I think the puck starts to spin more when he goes to swipe Lewis back in. I want to stand by that. Well, the one thing they'll tell you, they, they don't guess. It has to be conclusive evidence. So that's why the officials gathered first to come up with their call on the ice, which is a goal. So they need conclusive evidence on the video to overturn that call. Galley says it's a goal. I don't know if it's because he gets an assist on it or, <laughs> or what. As we meet, need it more than they do. And it looks like they've finally come to a decision here. And we are going to get the announcement from here we go. Brandon Blandina. The verdict. After the coach's challenge video review, it was determined that the call on the ice was confirmed. We have a good goal.